Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back with another episode of the Villanova Wildcats Dynasty. Um, here they are, they're taking on number 23 ranked Navy Midshipmen. Wildcats, Midshipmen, they are ranked 83 overall, we are 65 overall, so quite a bit of difference. Let's see if we can do some damage or even keep it close in this game. Navy starting out really good with their classic triple option offense and they are just killing us for a couple quick first downs early in this game the quarterback doing a really nice job running the football will worth that is doing that they're down the field Sean White that guy would be killing us today you will see there is Taneo Gully Fern Gully as I like to call him as I was you know Checking out this game. Taneo Burn Gully again with the touchdown that would put Navy up 7 to 0 early in this ballgame. Villanova, there's Goodzik. Good old Goodzik getting us a first down there, and now he's going to pick up another. So, two first downs early in the day there for Goodzik. But Narchik going to throw across the middle to Changa Hodge. He wouldn't pick up the first down, but of course, Goodzik can help us out with that. Now, Zach Narchik scanning the field, throws over there again to, this time, Torres Phillips, who spins and makes the first down. Now, up the center of the field again for Torres Phillips. Gets us into a first and goal situation, in which Aaron Forbes would bring us a lot closer. Second and goal now. They're going to toss it out wide to Goodzik. Nobody really there to get him. Touchdown tie game 7-7. Seven, seven. Navy midshipmen will take over the football. They get a first down there. And now fake the pitch man and get another first down. Will Worth doing a great job running the ball for them right now. Will getting downfield there. 17 yards. Now the pitch out to Fern Gully, and Gully all the way down there to Neo Gully. A 7-7 game after the first quarter, but Navy is certainly threatening in this ballgame. Here comes Navy coming out in the second quarter. Fern Gully almost in the end zone, very nice. And Zach Abbey would go ahead and take it in. So a 14-7 game right now. And Villanova needs to answer. Very good play there by Goodzik, but on a third and six, he would get taken down. So Navy is going to take over the football after the punt. And they are going to run their option. And there's another first down for Haneo Ferngully. Another first down there. That one's Sean White. Third and 13, and a big pass that they get there to Neo Fern Gully. So the running backs and quarterbacks just killing the Villanova defense right now. Goodzik, as Villanova attempts to get some points before the half with time winding down. Taurus Phillips, very nice play. And now Goodzik with a great run. He's going to pick up a first down on a third and nine. Still, Villanova would have to kick a field goal. 21-10 at the half. Can Villanova stay in this ball game? They'll get the ball after the half. Now after the half, here's Bernardchik across the middle to Changa Hodge. And Hodge picking up a ton of yardage after a broken tackle. Look at Hodge inside the 10-yard line, almost to the 5, before he finally gets hit out of bounds. Benarchik almost had that pass blocked. Gets it off in time. Changa Hodge breaking a huge tackle to be able to get downfield and get inside the five-yard line before being pushed out there. Now, first and goal, the very next play. Goodzik would finish it off. So a touchdown, 21-17. Villanova's right in the thick of things here. But the very next play after the kickoff, look at this. And this guy just does not want to come down. A touchdown for Sean White. Huge play. Puts Navy back up by 11. 
Very next play after the kickoff on this side is Goodzik weaving in and out of traffic and downfield. No one will catch him. Touchdown. We are looking at a 28-24 game, but first, there is Zach Benarczyk breaking the NCAA record for longest pass. Of course, Goodzik had a lot to do with that. But it puts Villanova right back in the thick of things once again. As long as they don't give up big plays here. And there is a first down. Not exactly the big plays they've been giving up, but still a first down. Nice play to stop Taneo Ferngully for a loss on that one. And now a third and 13 in which they will stop again. So Villanova gets the stop. They will get the ball here mid-third quarter. And Aaron Forbes is going to get a carry there for a first down. Now on third and three, Aaron Forbes again. I believe at this point in the game, Goodzik was injured for a little bit. Nice play there for Sam Shaw on a first and ten to pick up a first. And Goodzik would be back in the game with an eight-yard rush there. Now looking at third and one, Goodzik would go ahead and pick up the touchdown, and Villanova has their first lead of the football game. Until, look at this, another huge run by Sean White. Getting Navy in position, a perfect pitch will get them further downfield, and that would be the end of the third quarter with Villanova leading 23rd ranked Navy right now. But look at the broken tackles. Look at the broken tackles by Sean White. That would set up this Taneo Fern goalie touchdown. And it would be 35-31. to 31. Now the ensuing kickoff would go to Aaron Forbes. Aaron Forbes weaves to the outside. And he picks up 30 on that return. So here goes Matt Goodzik. And he is going to pick up a first down there. So still 31-35. Villanova trying to come back and take their lead once again. Good play there. Now a third and five. And who else but Sam Shaw to make the catch for the first down. Goodzik is going to run for seven. Leaving a third and three here. For Villanova and Forbes would pick up the first down, but he's not able to get into the end zone. So Goodzik would finish it off with that very famous toss play. And Villanova has a three point lead against a ranked team until this man breaks a tackle. Taneo Ferngoli once again running all the way down the field and getting Navy the lead back. Now, only 158 to go in the game. And Villanova needs a miracle, and they get half of one from Forbes, who gets most of the field all the way to midfield. To give them a good setup, there's Forbes, and he will pick up the first down. They are riding the hot hand here. Now, the Narchik throws to the outside, and who else? Again, Sam Shaw making a huge play and a touchdown for Aaron Forbes to get Villanova back on top with very little time remaining. But look at Navy. They are not giving up, throwing the ball now downfield. It has been the option all day, but now they are throwing and Worth is breaking tackles. And now they are looking at a second and one thrown downfield. Brilliant play by Malik Reeves, and a field goal that's missed. Navy will lose this game. Villanova has beaten a ranked team for the first time. What a game. Ferngully with 197 yards, four touchdowns. And the rest of the team did not do bad either. Of course, Matt Goodzik for the player of the game. Four touchdowns on the ground and another one through the air. Five touchdowns today. Absolute brilliance from him.
As we look at the stats, Goodzik, 118 on the ground. Four touchdowns. He adds 101 through the air and a touchdown. Goodzik just doing an incredibly great job. Defensively, you see not much going on, just a lot of tackles had to be made today. I don't usually do this, but I do want to show some of the stats here. Navy threw four passes all day and completed three of them. Look at the rushing yardage. This triple option destroyed us. Taneo Fern Gully just destroyed us for 154. Sean White for 170. The quarterback, Will Worth, for 58. But we beat him. All three coaches get upgrades from the win. We get a commit from the win, a left outside linebacker. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves... Oh, I was going to put Royal Treatment, but I believe I retracted this. Yes, I did. I preferred to go in and max out that uh, late in the year stuff so that we can go ahead and get a jump on everybody late in the year here in recruiting. So now we get 6,500 points for these last weeks. Hoping that that is going to be good for us um, as I show you guys the recruiting updates here. Now guys, please, again, uh, this video will be coming to a close in approximately under a minute. So, maybe under a minute. A uh, little more than a minute. Almost two minutes. But anyways, please go ahead and drop a like if you did enjoy this episode of the Villanova Dynasty. Please go ahead and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching this. Uh, there's plenty more coming out, as well as live streams Monday through Friday. So you guys want to keep in touch with me on Twitter. You want to keep in touch with me on Discord. You guys definitely want to figure out when all these streams are going to be happening, as they can't always happen on a perfect schedule. Sorry, life gets in the way sometimes. However, um, if you guys do have a guess for the score... Um, for next week's Villanova game, or the next game for Villanova, you guys are going to have very little time to put that in. I have been uploading this series a lot. It has been the main thing on this channel, and everyone seems to love it. Uh, but if you want to put a score, put it in now as you're watching it. Um, you have basically till the next video goes up to put your score in, so why not just put it now while you're watching uh, they will be taking on number 10 LSU. It's going to be a tough game. LSU is very, very good. Obviously, Kirk Herbstreit is going to take LSU. We sit now at 2-4. and four. LSU sits at 7-1, and one, so their season almost done. Uh, only four games left in their season. There's six left in ours. So, see you guys on the next one.